Hi, this is Moonshine's Curiosity. Nice to see you all again. Um, I went on a trip this last week to Disneyland. My boyfriend took me. And it went okay. There was a few times I got really paranoid and scared, but it went okay. Um, he took care of me there. and um, When I was having a hard time, he, um, he let me be. And, you know, I could hide away in the hotel room and deal with that. But for the most part, I tried really hard to be out and about and um, have fun, or try to. Then after that, my dad took me for the week, the rest of the week, and um, I went to the north rim of the Grand Canyon, which was really pretty. It was really nice, really scary, because I'm afraid of heights, but it was really cool. We slept in the cabins, and um, then we traveled near um, south of Utah, and... Uh, northern Arizona area, and that was cool. Um, met a lot of nice people. Some some people weren't nice, like one of the hotel staff was kind of rude and um, kind of treated me bad, but um, the other, sorry, if you hear all that noise, my boyfriend's playing League of Legends, so if you hear him hollering in the background, that's what he's doing in the other room is playing that game. Um, what was I saying? Um, I can't remember. Oh, Northern Arizona. Yeah, well, the hotels are pretty great. Um, well, one of them was. The one the guy was really nice, and he was really cool. And um, it was in Hol Holbrook, Arizona. His hotel's name is uh, Route 66 Motel. And it was really cool. It was vintage, and the owner is amazing. So if you ever go through Holbrook, um, Arizona, definitely check him out. Um, and go to his hotel because he's a really nice guy. He's really cool. And um, anyways, yeah, I had a pretty nice trip. Trip. Um, I've been having a lot of uh, disorganized thoughts and thinking. Um, I've been forgetting a lot of things lately, and I've just not. I don't know. It's just hard to think, and I just felt like I need to make a video because. I'm having a hard time thinking, my thoughts are disorganized, I'm getting really upset, um, I'm hallucinating still even though I'm on the full dose of my medication. I gradually went up it um, after that uh, hospital visit and it's just, ugh, I can't even think. I can't even remember what I just said. I, I don't even know what's wrong with me. It's so hard to think, and I just feel like I need to make this video because, like, I did really good on that trip, but I still feel out of sorts, and I have some other things that have been going on, and I just, I don't know, and I really don't want to talk about them because I'm scared, you know, they might, people might see this, and people that know who I'm talking about will know, and I just don't want to get into that, so I'll leave it to me. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. The thoughts have been really hard. I'll be talking, and I can't remember. Um, my boyfriend even asked, like, we went to the store to get food um, at Sprouts, and, like, he asked me what the soups were, so I looked, and there was three of them. And by the time I got back, I could only remember one. I can't, I couldn't even remember the other two. Like, the thoughts are just so disorganized. And I was having a under, hard time understanding people. Um, it just, it sounds like English, but I don't, I can't understand what they're saying. And I'm wondering, maybe my ears are bad, or what? My boyfriend's like, no, you can still hear me when I talk lower. And I'm like, you're right. So I don't know if that's part of the schizoaffective as well as... Well, my therapist says it is, that it's a part of it when you can't understand people. Um, one good thing in my life that I have, and it's going to sound cheesy and lame and maybe freaky to some people, but I have a, a doll. It's a ball-jointed doll. And uh, one of my best friends made it. And he's wonderful. I mean, he makes it by clay. And he... Um, can't think. <laughs> um, he makes them from clay 
like he hand sculpts them and then he um he sends them off to another country to get them resined so they, they resins them they, they make molds from his clay uh, things and then he um gets them uh resined there and then they send um they send them back and then he sells them and um, he does an excellent job and i'll show you her she's very adorable um <sighs> sorry i'm on a bed so but um this is Alice, and she's very pretty. I think she is. She's in a little kigurumi, so I put that on her, maybe. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just trying to fix her up. So she looks cute, but her hair gets everywhere, I swear. But I, I um, sleep with her at night sometimes, and I really like her. She's ball-jointed, so it means that she's very movable um like her arms will move her hands can bend her legs can bend even even her mid half can bend and her chest can bend a little bit so it's really cool oh back to me <laughs> so she's been helping a lot i kind of bring her everywhere and i um usually sleep with her in my bed um at night so yeah i i don't know i i should, probably shouldn't even post this video up because i'm just so scatterbrained i can't remember things i can't understand people sometimes it's just i feel like i'm better in one way because i'm not as paranoid sorry hiccup <laughs> i'm not as paranoid as i was but at the same time like i can't think and I don't know what to do about that. Um, I guess it's kind of all to the video. Um, I might share more about how my experiences were during this vacation time. I really, I really just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how to get better. I do see the nurse practitioner. I do see the nurse practitioner um, August 2nd, so I'll see if they can help me, but I don't know. I don't know if anyone can help me. <laughs> I'm at the the dosage I was at before, but I'm not getting better. I'm still hallucinating. I'm still like I can't think. It's just so hard. One of the the points of my um, uh, trip, I got bit by a spider. Well. I think it's a spider, I'm not sure. Um, I um, I slept over at my dad's house before we went to Northern Arizona, and or Northern Grand Canyon, I should say, because it's really close to Utah and places like that. But um, I slept there, and um, I swore, I picked up my backpack and I swore I saw a spider. And it was fat, black, and chubby, and I don't know of any spider that looks like that. I even looked it up. and couldn't find one that looked like that in the areas I my dad lives but I saw it and then when I looked again it was gone it disappeared and I went oh I'm hallucinating again because bugs are a common hallucination for me at night I always see them and they're not really there so I was like okay it's hallucination and I kept watching my movie on my laptop I was watching a tv show and uh, the next morning I had this big big bump on my arm and my whole arm hurt and then it started oozing clear stuff for two days. Third day it started pussing. And then, then it started healing up. But each day my arm hurt less and less and less. But it still hurt. So I don't know what it was. I wasn't nauseated or anything. It doesn't sound like a black widow. but And it obviously isn't a recluse because I still have my arm. It's been four or five days. So I don't know what it was. Um, my boyfriend's a bug exterminator. And... He doesn't even know. He's like, well, I don't know. It sounds kind of like a black widow, but you would have felt sick. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't know. So that's, that's just a little story. <laughs> um, I have a lot of stories from the trip. It was, it was a lot of fun hanging out with my dad. He was, 
He's really enjoyable. And uh, I found out I have a lot of limits since I've gained weight with the medications. We tried to go hiking and it just, <clears throat> it was so hard for me to hike. Like, my dad isn't fit. He was having a hard time because he has bad joints, you know. His hips have been fucked up since he was young and his uh, knees are not doing so well and, you know, he can't really hike anymore and me, I just get so winded I can't even, I get winded and everything hurts and I'm just like, oh, I need to lose the weight and I need to get back in shape. But I guess that's all I have to say for today. I just felt like I need to do a video because I haven't updated in a while and, you know, a lot has happened in a week for me or I don't even know how long it's been since the last video. I'll probably check after I've done this one. Anyways, have a good one. If you have any questions or if you want me to talk more about my vacation, let me know in the comments and I'll try to make another video if you're interested in that. Until then, I will see you guys later. Keep a smile on your face and... Remember, things can always get better. Alright, bye.